Hello, and welcome to another installment of Masterpieces in Microbiology with your host, Ray Campbell. Today we're going to talk about selective differential and enriched media just a bit, and then I'm going to do a quick demonstration, and all of the data will be uh, put onto Canvas uh, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I think you all know, having dealt with uh, media, that microbiologists will use multiple types of media to try to get certain organisms to grow or perhaps to determine a particular biochemical activities of a, of a, uh, of a uh, particular organism. And so many different kinds of media can be used. The three we're going to briefly mention today are selective media, differential media, and enriched media. Uh, what we could say in a nutshell about selective media is that it will suppress the growth of some bacteria, some organisms, while allowing the growth of others. Uh, mannitol salts auger, McConkey auger, uh, EMD, what some of the ones we're using today, would all be examples of selective media. Differential media allows the growth of more than one microbe, but with morphologically distinct colonies. They're going to appear different uh, whether or not they utilize a, a particular, particular growth factor within the media. Uh, MSA again, EMD, those would be differential medias. Enriched media, the last one contains specific growth factors that are used for uh, growth of fastidious organisms, those that need uh, special growth factors to support their growth. The media that we're going to be using today is EMD auger, Columbia CNA auger, EMB or eosine methylene blue auger, McConkey auger, and blood auger, which is triptych soy auger with 5% sheep blood. The organisms we'll be working with are Staphylococcus aureus, E. coli, Streptococcus pyogenes, uh, Enterococcus faecalis, uh, Proteus vulgaris, and Pseudomonas fluorescens. Um, I'm going to streak one organism, Staph aureus, on all of them as a demo, then I will come back off camera and streak the rest of them. When the data is, the results are presented, of course, we will have all six organisms on all five types of media uh, for you to look at. So, of course, as we always do, we want to maintain uh, sterile conditions, aseptic technique, we want to flame our loops, we want to flame our tubes, go in, grab a small amount of the bacteria, go on to our first plate, and we're just going to do a straight line. And I have enough on here to easily go on to the CCNA, and I will do a straight line there. I'm going to go ahead and flame this now. We'll go back and get a little bit more. Remember to cool your loop a little before grabbing an organism. Okay, again, we have more than enough on there. Now on the EMB. Again, all we're going to do is a straight line. And I'm going to continue on this blood auger. I have more than enough inoculum on there. Okay, so of course, play my loop. And that's essentially it. We will post the data on. I will do the other five organisms on, on this media, and then all the results will be posted on Canvas by the end of this week. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe.